Jules or Julia? Julia, Julia, um, Julia. Yeah, Julia let's Bob. do Julia. What a weird moment to have to record a podcast. <laughs> it, ha- it has been a week, Fran. You sent me the, the words that I looked on the, you know, on, on the screen and I was just like, holy shit. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't mean, we don't have to force the conversation into that. We can, we can jump right into the photo- photograph that you sent. You sent four photographs. We can go through there and see where, where we land. Go, let's do that. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. I am all for body positivity and loving the skin you're in. Like everybody's got stuff that they're just like, fuck, I do not want to see this on Sally Lloyd. Sure. I don't want to have this like on my LinkedIn. So I guess my point of differentiation is understanding, you know, the the pain points, if you will, of what women like to highlight are less happy about highlighting. Um, and also just helping them pose and just feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, portrait photography is very intimate. Right. Like I, you have to touch, like physically touch people. That's like you might adjust like, you know, a lock of hair or a bra strap. Um, and you've like, like I've got hands on people, which during COVID is a completely different beast again. Sure, sure. But, yeah, I sort of wanted to take away that anxiety and come from a place of kindness and compassion to deliver photos that they're like, I'm, you know, looking pretty hot today yeah, yeah. and just be really proud of it um, mm-hmm. and then walk away with their, like, you know, their head held a bit higher, a bit of a sure. spring in their step and just to show them that, you know, there is, they're beautiful yeah. and everybody's beautiful. You just need to sort of know how that relates to a two-dimensional machine. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Do you want me to elaborate on that? No, no, I mean, it, don't let me stop you. I'm just uh, processing. Okay, it's a lot. No. We're, co- we're covering ground today. No, it's, well, that's <laughs> good. It's, we're going wherever the conversation takes us. Um, like the person who trips a shutter today, when you're there and you're tripping a shutter today, the images that I see in your studio, at least, are of children, <clears throat> yes. not necessarily of adults. So I don't know, I don't see that, how that, can, how that translates to your work with, they're coming. Okay, no, no, <laughs> They're great, coming. Great. Uh, so this blank wall behind you, that's going to be my gallery wall. Oh, wicked. Yeah. How long have you been here? Um, I only got the keys on the 31st of December. Whoa, nice. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> it's very new. It feels really great. Yeah, it's very new. So keys on the 31st, open to the public on the 20th. In what capacity? As, um, as in doing space? shoots here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this Still was just a storage up, yeah. unit. Yeah, okay. so um, had to get lighting redone, electrics painted, get the cupboards installed, all of that. Wicked. Yeah, it was it was great. It's just nice to have a you know a space to create in. Yes. Are you opening this up to other people to use with you? Yeah, great question. I was with I was with two really awesome chicks last year. They're both they're both in my Twenty Women series. One is Ria Chandramani. She's a she's an artist. She's an incredible painter, and the other is Belinda Esterhammer, who has a podcast and she's very involved in women in tech um, and entrepreneurship. She's she's just an amazing amazing girl, and just so young. Do you just like meet people under thirty? You're like, God damn it! Like I'm not even sure I still know if I've like what I'm doing with my fun. I look I look older than I am. I'm 24. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking you about. Just miles of hard road around. <laughs> 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 but we were at we were at <laughs> we were at Soho House, and you know Belinda's talking about working from home, and I had Alex. So I was working from home, and Ria is like I think her husband was like doing weird shifts. Sorry, her boyfriend's doing weird shifts, so he was working from home. I'm just like just we need to have somewhere where it's like it's affordable enough to like go there and hang out, and just but also private enough so that you can get your head in the game and get in flow and do something. And I'm like, why don't we just start a little women's space where, like, you can record a podcast, you can do painting, I can do a photo shoot, and we can all just hang out. Wow. And they're like, Jaws, it won't work. They've Wicked. tried it before. They've tried it before. It costs a fortune to set up. And I'm like, it's a white box. Like, I don't think so. So 2020 did its voodoo towards the end of last year, and I found myself, you know, on this precipice of, do I stay in Hong Kong or do I go home? And if I go home, what does that look like? 
and I was speaking to some really amazing friends and they're like, Jules, you've got a business. You've got income. This is your home. Like, do you want to try? And I'm like, yeah, I'll try. So, and then the dominoes just fell. So I found this place. Uh, it was a break lease. I got some really great opportunities coming up. I found a little apartment and it just sort of, it clicked. It's great. Um, but yeah, we're going to be holding talks here. I want to do some movie nights. We had Habitat for Humanity do um, a live stream fundraiser in here a few oh, weeks wicked. ago. Wicked. So we proved it can happen. And just, you know, it's not it's not one of those big mega co-working spaces which are sort of more geared towards people who have, you know, a laptop and a headset. Sure. Like you can – you know, I want to get, like, people to come do, like, live painting and just spread out, like, a massive canvas on the floor. Right. It's, like, flows of energy, flows, think, of, like, when it's raining, right? Like, yeah. Like, eventually the water is, I didn't come up with this idea, but eventually the water finds its own little rivulets, and then those rivulets find into other channels, and then larger streams, all this stuff, and, and they kind of find their own flow. And so, in the same way, people who bring their energy in, the space and environment is going to evolve into whatever it needs to evolve yeah, into. Yeah, that's and a really beautiful analogy. It's not mine. It's plagiarized. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's, it's, it's the highest form of flattery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, listen, Julia, this has been really great. I love talking shop, uh, and you delivered 100%. Thank you. Uh, I was nervous. You, you were nervous. Yes. It's like going to the dentist. You have great teeth. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, any, any last, any last things you want to give to somebody listening to this in terms of, you know, there's a 16, 20, 24 year old, uh, beginning budding photographer, the, the 20 year old you, what would you say? Oh my God. Her? I love this question so much. Um, I think like many creative careers, people like look at people who are actually doing it and they're like, but how did you get there? Like, I just don't know how to do it. And it's like, for me, it was you know, packing up your ego and putting it in a bag and going to a class and going, I want to do something, but I don't know how yet. Mm. Go to classes, go do online courses, ask a friend, go on walks uh, with a camera or, you know, if you if you want to be a dancer, look at YouTube videos or, you know, um, ask people. Generally, I think in the creative, in creative industries and in the arts, people are very helpful. Mm. And if you ask somebody, like, could I – could you teach me some things or could I watch you work? Like mm. in my experience, nine times out of 10, they're like, God, I would love that. Do you have any apprentices? Um, not, I've got an intern. Um, he's amazing. He's doing some work for me at the moment. I would absolutely love to. It's one of those things that you sort of have to have the time to think about yeah, and put in place a lot of properly. Things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm kind of a one woman band um, at this stage, but yeah, I would absolutely love to have some, Proteges, <laughs> Julia. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, this, I, this has been a, this has been great. We've been speaking for an hour. Thank you for your time. Shooting it raw. Yes, shooting it raw.